Nice to have you with us. On your mark. Get set. Go! Throw those fish These two there. teams are caught upstream trying to catch sneaky, soggy fish. Whichever angler finds the floppy flounder's fastest will hook onto the lead with 20 bucks. And control of the show that always has baited breath. Move up here and play some super sloppy double dare. Yeah, super sloppy double dare. And now, here's your super sloppy double dare host, Mark Summers. Hi there. Thank you, audience, and thank you, Harvey. Welcome to Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. Just a one quick thing here. I ask for ties from time to time. They come in the mail. Today, somebody brought these things in the audience, and this is a, a tie that probably does not exist on the color charts, and it's pretty ugly, and I appreciate it very much. Uh, we have teams today, uh, starting to my right. They call themselves the Gruesome Twosome. Say hello to Rolf and Andrea. Yeah! Yes. <laughs> Rolf, you're a trumpet player. How long have you been doing that? Uh, four years. I wanted to play trumpet when I was in junior high, but I wore braces, and they told me that you couldn't do it, so... Yeah, it's pretty tough. <laughs> Painful, huh? Yeah. And you have turtles. Is it true that if you turn a turtle upside down, you can tell how old it is? Mm, I don't think so. That's a lie. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Andrea loves the theater. Do you want to be an actress? No, I just, I like anything for an audience. I'm a ham. Yeah, are you really? you got a great voice. I love your voice. You can do cartoon voices. It's cute. I love it. I just get involved in school plays and camp plays. It's just... Sort of calls, that's all. Well, good, okay, nice to have you here. We have a team over here on the left. Uh, they call themselves the I Goop Toe Warts. Say hello to Jessica and Todd. Yeah. <laughs> Jessica, you like school. That's hard to believe. Yeah. What do you like about it? Well, that's where you get to see your friends, and it's better than sitting home and watching TV, I think. Well, that's good. And Todd, you had an airplane hit your house? Yeah, that's right. A big airplane? No, it was a. Um... It was, it was a smaller one. It was a single engine. Well, everybody's all right, I'm assuming, huh? Yeah. That's pretty bizarre. All right. Uh, no money just yet over there. That'll change. Let's talk about the rules here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount. And then you either have to answer that question or do what, Dana? Take the physical challenge. That's Dan, our producer. Okay, uh, good luck over here, Jessica and Todd. No money yet. But Rolf and Andrea have $20 and this $10 question. According to the nursery rhyme, what kind of animal was Fuzzy Wuzzy? Bear. Yes, Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy. Wuzzy. In what sport will you find draw plays, double reverses, and blitzes? Football? Yeah, you're right. That's exactly right. Another $10. I thought it said draw plays, double reverses, and blintzes, and I didn't know where that was. Okay, if you put the continents in uh, alphabetical order, which one would be last? Would bring you to 50, or you could dare them? Europe. Europe is incorrect. It's yeah. South America, oh, but no dare was at stake, no money uh, changing place. But the Igoop Toe Warts have the first opportunity to put some money on the board. Scientists recently proved, A, that two separate fingerprints can be identical, or B, Two separate snowflakes can be identical, or C, all shows starring Mr. T are identical. <laughs> Is it A, B, or C? Or you could dare them. Is it B? You're absolutely right. Two snowflakes can be identical. $10 on the board, and the Igoop Cohorts have control. If you were storming the Bastille in 1789, you'd be fighting in what revolution? It's worth 10, or you could dare them. Could you repeat the question? Sure. If you were storming the Bastille in 1789, you'd be fighting in what revolution? Dare. Now we're 20. French Either? Revolution. You are absolutely right. Add another 20 over there. They now have 60, $50 separating our two teams. What famous song did Francis Scott Key write? Star Spangled Banner. Oh, Jose, can you see? You are right. The Star Spangled Banana. How did scientist Bruce Banner turn into the Hulk? He was caught in a nuclear explosion and the gamma rays changed him? Or red-skinned, bald-headed spaceman gave him the powers? Or he accidentally drank a super steroid solution thinking it was a glass of iced tea? It's A. Yes, you're absolutely right. Now $80 over there. And the Grissom Twosome have all sorts of money. They're answering all the questions correctly, and that's why they still have control. 
What bodybuilder stars with Danny DeVito in Twins? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, right again. 90 over there. We're off in Andrea. According to the old saying, what does a stitch in time save? Nine. Nine? A stitch in time saves nine. You are absolutely <laughs> right. You have $100. Yeah. And I think it's uh, this particular point, Diane, that we're going to take a little break. Is that what you're telling me? Perhaps. No. Okay. Maybe not. I thought we were. But uh, we'll go on because I want to see. Oh, no. We are going to figure out how to do this show in a matter of moments. Uh, but we're going to take this little break and then come back and figure out what I'm doing and what's happening on this program. And this is going to be the next. Hi there, welcome back. It's, uh, does this go like this, or I guess it goes like that. Anyway, it's uh, still round one here on Super Sloppy Double Dare. We have incredibly smart teams today. They're not doing anything wrong. They're answering all the questions correctly. No physical challenges yet, but that may change with this question. And this is for uh, Rolf and Andrea. Who was a member of Robin Hood's band? Was it Big Bad John, Little John, or John Davidson? Little John. You're right. Uh, another $10 <laughs> over there. Gosh. I just like doing the impression, you see. The daddy is called a boomer, the mom is a flyer, and the baby's a joey. What animal is it? Kangaroo. Right again, $120 <laughs> for Rolf and Andrea. They've obviously never missed a day of school in their lives. Okay. <laughs> After doing a good deed, what TV cowboy would leave behind a silver bullet? Bring it to 130. Lone Ranger? Yes, right again. Yeah. Lone Ranger is it. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi, Todd. How are you? Hey, good. <laughs> Wanted to see if you were still over there. In the early 1800s, thousands of Irish men and women were forced to leave their country after what crop failed? Potato. Potato is right. Yes, $140 now. I'll get them on this one. Which McDonald's product has the most calories? A six-piece box of chicken McNuggets, a cheeseburger, or a vanilla shake? There. Now worth $20. Which one has the most calories? The chicken McNuggets, the cheeseburger, or the vanilla shake? We could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 40, or are we going to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. Oh, thank you. Uh, a vanilla shake, it has 352. And let's move over to our first physical challenge of the day. <laughs> it's just that people watch the show across America to see people get slopped up, and I wouldn't want to disappoint them. You wouldn't, would you? No problem. Oh, good. Now, uh, you say you like to be an actress. Have you ever been a rat before? Mm, I don't remember a role don't remember like anyone. Well, we, well, they uh, are going to make you a rug rat right over here. Could you come right over here and just uh, put these glasses on and lay down straight over here? I love what uh, Alan wrote. He said, this is Tony Bennett's favorite uh, physical challenge, a rug stunt. Okay, I get it. Anyway, what you have to do is uh, notice that there's lots of chocolate pudding all over there. And the way we have to clean this carpet, which is held over from the 60s, is to take the shampoo and put it all over your partner. Okay? Just... Put it all over. And then what you have to do is roll her up. So the way you do that is you put this around and then you start rolling with the carpet. And you have to get underneath where? The water, because we want to rinse her off. And once you get her to this point, you pull on this bucket and all the water will rinse her off. Now, if you can do all that in 20 seconds or less, I'm going to give you even another $40. Okay? Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go. Put that shampoo on your partner and get that chocolate. Okay, just the whole thing on. seconds remaining. Let's get this poor young lady out of here. And uh, you stay pretty dry there, as a matter of fact. Come on up. <laughs> You're doing terrific. Come on up here and dry yourself off. We'll add another 40. They have 180. Oh, my. I got it in my mouth. You got a little in your mouth? That's all right. It's just water with food coloring in it. And we have continued control with Ralph and Andrea. They currently have $180. On TV, what relation are Simon and Simon? There. Now worth $20. Television show, Simon and Simon. What relation are they? Would bring you to 30 or you could double dare them back. Brothers. You are right. Brothers is the answer. You now have $30. Good job. <laughs> if you were on the lookout for the Loch Ness Monster, what country would you be in? Bring you to 40. Well, you could dare them. Ireland. Ireland is incorrect. It is Scotland. That is the answer. No dare at stake. No money changing place. <laughs> Sound means it's the end of round one, and with $180, the Grissom Tissom have to leave. Only 30 over here for the live but it's still lots of time because we'll come back to a $30 toss-up. The money gets really good.
promise we're going to make lots more us here on Super Stop and Double Bear right after this. Hi there. Welcome back to round two on Super Sloppy Double Dare. That means all the dollar values will be doubled. And if perhaps you hear this noise right here, one more time, just for me, that means the game is over. Going for $40 control of round two. Over here, we have some chickens. Chickens are funny because they have the word K in them. And what you want to do is you want to drop your chicken into the tar and then feather him and then throw it over to your partner who must catch it and then stuff it inside the cage just like that. Very good. That's all you have to do. The first one to catch three chickens, uh, tarred and feathered, will get $40 control of round two. On your mark. Get set. Go. Stick them in there. Congratulations. Three over there for the blue team. Add another $40. And let's lead off and come back and play some more. Super Sloppy Double Deer. Well, Rolf and Andrea now have $220. And at this rate, we're going to be way over budget. So uh, <laughs> we'll see if they'll just break the bank here, which is the name of a show that went on sometime in the 50s. Okay, Andrea and Rolf. According to German folklore, what little man weaves straw into gold? Bring it to 240. Rumpelstiltskin? Yeah, Rumpelstiltskin. Right. That's right. That's his name. Which fact about giant squids is not true? Their eyes never close, or they have the world's largest eyes the size of basketballs, or it would take approximately 67 trillion of them to fill the Grand Canyon. C? C is incorrect. Actually, their eyes never close, so no dares at stake, no money changing place, but a $20 question for Jessica and Todd. Which of the Great Lakes is smallest? Would bring you to 50. Or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $40. Which Great Lake is smallest? Double dare. dare. Now worth 80, or you can take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Lake Ontario, and we have an $80 physical challenge for Jessica and Todd right over here. And, uh, now, you have been gooped up enough, so I think it's your turn to get gooped up, and I'd like you to go over there. We're going to make you a uh, hen, and we are going to make you a chicken. <laughs> Look at this. This is just the most bizarre thing. We're going to put a little tail on it. I'm sorry, Robin. I don't have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I see. We're making her a chicken. Uh, over here, we have eggs. When I say go, your job is to take the egg and put it underneath uh, the other chicken over here. Now, you cannot slam it down. You must rest it gently underneath, and then your job is to sit right over here and then smash the egg, okay? Just kind of smash it just like that, okay? We're trying to figure out which came first, the chicken or the egg. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Anyway, so you run back and forth and you put five uh, one at a time underneath your partner. If you smash all five <laughs> in 20 seconds or less, we're going to give you $80 and I want you to get this money. Okay, on your mark, get set, go! Go on over there and press down the base. There's one. $110 now. It says that on my card. 30 seconds. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, Todd and Jessica now have $110 and this $20 question. Johnny Petragula, E.A. Bud Fisher, and Buzz Fazio are all members of the PBA Hall of Fame. What does PBA stand for? Bring it. Dare. Okay, now worth 40. What does PBA stand for in the PBA Hall of Fame? Uh, double dare. Now worth $80 or another physical challenge. Physical challenge. All those guys are members of the Professional Bowlers Association, and we have another $80 challenge right down over here. <laughs> this is worth $80. We're bringing a $190. We're going to make pancakes, and you have to catch them right inside that area. Who wants to catch them, and who wants to toss them? Up to you. You'll toss them, then you'll go right over here into Hungry Jack's mouth. And over here we have pancakes, and all you have to do is just toss them to your partner. Go ahead and see if you can just catch them right over there. Can you do that? Just get them. Oh, gee, that wasn't the way it's supposed to go at all. Anyway, something like that. But you see, the problem is they're too light. And uh, Robin, do we have anything to make them a little bit heavier? I think we have some batter-filled uh, pancakes right over here. So I want you to, why don't you come right in front of here. You're having a hard time today, Robin. I know I'll try and help you out. You stand over here behind them. And when I say go, you reach in with the batter-filled pancakes and toss them into Hungry Jack. And if you can catch two of them in 20 seconds, I'm going to give you another $80. On your mark, 
Get set. Go. You can throw an upper hand over here. There's one. That was good. Oh, you dropped it. You got to get two. And Jessica and Todd are making it a real horse race now. Oh, that sound means it's the end of the game with $240. The gruesome twosome have won today's game of Super Sloppy Double Dare. $120 a piece and a trip to the Super Sloppy Double Dare obstacle course. Jessica, Todd, you were great contestants. You were making your move. We just ran out of time, but you get that money to split. And Harvey, don't we have lovely parting gifts for them today? Oh, you bet your mark. We'll give them Shockwave Styling Products. Gives you total control of your hair. Softer, natural, or spiked and glossy. The only limit is your imagination. Shockwave is from Wella. And also today, we'll give up the Franklin Wear Don't look it up. Punch it out. It's Franklin's Amazing Wear Wheels. It is the correct spelling of 80,000 words. Welcome to the Super Sloppy Double Dare Obstacle Course, and Gumdrop is number one. And to explain this one, don't go away. Come here, Cheryl. Cheryl works very hard on our show. She gets all of our audiences together. Huh? Come on, Cheryl, you can do this. Now, okay, can you describe this uh, for uh, Rolf and Andrea? No. no. <laughs> sure you can. They get up there, and they grab the flag, and then they uh, put in the nickel. We turn the crank, and where does he come out? It comes out here. And he has what in his hand? He has a flag in his hand, and he passes to his partner, and, and then, they, they keep going. Okay, but say, Harvey, what will they win? And Harvey, what will they win? <laughs> it's the 9.6V Turbo Baja Banded RC Pickup. The exclusive 9.6V Turbo Rechargeable Battery Pack System Rechargeable up to a thousand times. New from Tyco. Andrea, your next obstacle is Lake Double Dare, and you want to dive into that boat. Now, if you fall out, just forget it. You want to get to the other side as quickly as you can. Your partner will be waiting. There will be a flag, and there will be this prize. The Ray-Ban Smart Start Collection from Bausch & Lomb. Hey, what's happening in kids' fashion? Serious sunglasses for kids who want to look their coolest. Available in various styles and colors. You have pets at home? Yeah. What do you have? A cat. Ah, no dogs, huh? No. Well, this is a doggy door. You can pretend it's a kitty door. We have to lift this up. You'll crawl underneath there. And then what you have to do is see what's on the other side. It's Fido's dog dish. Buried deep in there. Is, <laughs> that was the weirdest noise I'd ever heard. It was a strange dog. There's a flag in there. Pass it over to Andrea. And Harvey, what's the prize now? It's the weatherproof kind of animal. this tricycle and you go right through this brick wall the mortar happens to be whipped cream once you get to the other side stand up grab the flag pass it and win this it's a new bike puffy bicycles providing bicycles for the entire family with fun fitness and fashion in mind it's puffy america's first choice number five is the tank and you will quiver you will shiver in this vat of jello it is cold it is gooky you will get on into this stuff and all the way to the other side is where the flag is pass it and win this from casio the tv 500 right in the palm of your hand. It's battery operated, so you can take it anywhere. And it's only from Casio. They give me a towel to clean off my hand, and the towel is dirtier than my hand is. <laughs> Obstacle number six is the sewer chute. And you have to crawl through this little chute and pull on the rope. The gack will fall on. The flag will fall on. Grab it. Come down this little area. That's where the gook is. Pass that flag on to your partner, and we have a super-duper prize. It's Smith Corona's easy-to-use XP5500 memory typewriter with 50,000-word dictionary, liquid crystal display, and correcting cassette. American made by Smith Corona. Do you have any questions? No. How about you? No problem. This is, he loved to say that, don't you? This is the easiest obstacle here. For some reason, kids have trouble with it. I don't know why. Just pull this thing down. The popcorn will fall out. There will be a flag on the other side of that popcorn. Fla take that flag and uh, pass that flag and win this prize. <laughs> Full feature, then. Easy to use. Double Dare is obstacle number eight. You got a lot of time when you get to this one because all you have to do is just scamper up that little mountain, grab that flag in your hand, and if you have done all this in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize? An unbelievable Bush Gardens getaway. We'll send you the Bush Gardens, the Dark Continent of Tampa, Florida, where you'll see one of the largest animal collections, thrilling rides, and exciting shows. We'll send you on this great getaway if you do it all from Super Sloppy Double Dare. 60 seconds on the clock. Audience, cheer them on. On your mark, get set, go! You pull it down. And there he goes. There's the line. There it is. Come over here to obstacle number two. Which is laid down there. And can you partner get to the other side? Well, she ended up on this side. That may slow them down. Go to the doggy door. Ready, here you go. And you can wait on the other side because you want to go to the other side. Number four. The exchange is there. You wait on the other side. And she slipped this side. And you're doing a great job. There's a prize. Whoa, you're right. Thank you.
six out of eight. Come on over here and listen closely. Harvey will tell you everything that you want. Mark, they've got the Tyco, the sunglasses, the camera, the Hoppy bike, the Casio TV, and that Smith Corona typewriter all together along with a cash, a prize package of over $1,400 each. Good prize package, lots of money. We have whipped cream on the lens. These guys are very happy. I have whipped cream on me as well. Super sloppy double dare does it all the time. Provides lots of fun, lots of entertainment. And I hope you join us Monday through Friday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Super Sloppy Double Dare gets a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Super Sloppy Double Dare. This is your announcer. Hi, this is your